tonight. She's accused of hitting a car with two kids inside and then taking off. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. And I'm Deborah Takahara. Now the wife of Aurora's fire chief is expected to face felony charges for the wreck that has some questioning how the case was handled. Fox 31 Denver's Mark Meredith is live off Yale Avenue in Aurora with new information about what may have contributed to the crash. Mark? Deb, it was about 8.30 last night that a driver of an SUV slammed into another car here at this intersection. Tonight, we know the driver of that SUV was the wife of Aurora's fire chief. Also tonight, we're learning she may have tried to tell police at one point she was the victim of the hit and run. She's not charged yet, but Aurora police say Adrian Garcia will likely face a felony after allegedly crashing into a car here at Yale and Peoria, then taking off while a witness followed her calling 911. Police radio traffic helped set the scene from Wednesday night. While two kids were hurt in the car wreck, one seriously, police say Mrs. Garcia kept driving, eventually calling her husband, Aurora's fire chief, who then called 911 on his wife's behalf. Today, we reached out to Adrian Garcia at home, but she declined to talk. Instead, Fox 31 Denver obtained an email sent out to the Aurora Fire Department in which officials called the situation a, quote, personal matter, and that Mrs. Garcia is uninjured but resting at home. Although she did leave the scene of the accident, she didn't cause law enforcement to have to do a big investigation to find out who she was. Legal analyst Dan Reck says it's unlikely Adrian Garcia will face serious or any jail time for the wreck because she did tell police about what happened within 20 minutes of the crash. They will be hard on her, but they will realize that she quickly uh, made things right. Late tonight, I spoke to an attorney representing the Garcia family. He tells me that his client suffers from a previous brain injury, and he's looking to whether or not that may have contributed to what happened here at the intersection last night. Also kind of interesting, we've learned that Aurora police did not conduct any sort of field sobriety test when they met up with Adrian Garcia. We asked police about that, but they say this is simply an open investigation, and they couldn't comment further. Reporting live in Aurora, Mark Meredith, Fox 31.